But if I copy pasted them, put them on a different editor layer, like 15, and put them on the layer above, and kept this blending on, right? I forgot to give it a group. This has to be group number 29. Put that original layer back to black real quick. Making an area move for group 29 with a lot of variation. Ease in out with a length that's like guaranteed pretty long, right? But that same group, stopping as we get there, centered on the player. I think I could create some pretty cool layers to this and make it brighter. This is neat, based on my X and Y position. And that makes it a little bit more strange for the mini wave, but I kind of like it. Dude, now I'm wondering if I can just put an area scale that is touch triggered and hit right here at the start. Scaling these up 30 times with a guaranteed length, right? That, that would make sense. The same exact setting for that same group 29 centered on the player. Might make these blocks look a little bit more interesting. Ooh, this could work, but the length is not long enough. Interesting. We're gonna make that length super long, and I think I'm gonna make the area move bounce out just to mix up the easings here and make it a bit more interesting. Okay, now. Now the area scale is barely noticeable. Oh, it definitely is for this mini wave section. That is weird. What if I just give them a super varied vertical? This is nutty now. Oh my gosh. I think now I'm just going to put huge saw blades in the areas that we don't touch. I'm still the number one hater of saw spam. Don't get me wrong. Mainly because it is a lot of copy paste. It's not very creative. Oh, this looks intense now. I love this. This is so sick. Oh my gosh. Dude, I did not expect this to come out so well. This was just an idea I tested just as a haha -ha funny, you know, it would be really cool if I put blending detail.